guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite ROMs. It's the Liberty ROM. Uh, Liberty 3 version 2.0 is now available for the Droid X and also the Droid Bionic and a couple of other devices. Uh, I will have links in the description to download Liberty 3 version 2.0 for the Droid X and the Bionic. So today I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of this ROM, of my favorite parts, parts that I think that you will find useful, things that are uh, unique to this ROM, and then we're going to give a quick tuto uh, <clears throat> install tutorial. And then I'm going to give a quick install tutorial. Uh, so let's jump into the quick review. So right off the bat, you'll see this uh, lock screen. This version of Liberty 3 version 2.0 has eight different lock screens to choose from. Uh, also, you'll notice that you have the Launcher Pro here as well, and that can be customized. If you go to Menu and Preferences, you can customize like your home screen settings here. A number of screens, you can... Uh, bump those all the way up to seven, and you can choose a default screen. So whenever you press your home, it'll go to that particular screen. Uh, you can choose whether or not you want the home screen to loop. And then my favorite here is the transition effect, and I like Cube. Um, of course, there's so much more customization in Launcher Pro. I'm not really going to jump into that now. A lot of you guys are familiar with it, anyways. So we'll go into Liberty Settings. Just go to Settings and Liberty Settings, and this is where you're going to have all your CM7 style customization options. Uh, so like for your performance, you have Mac CPU and Min CPU, and a few other things there as well. In your tools, you have like your DSP Manager and the testing menu. DSP Manager, a lot of people use that like for their Bluetooth and whatnot. And then also you have the customization. So this is the free version of the Liberty Customizer, and it says the theme manager here, but you do have to have the donate version of the Liberty Customizer, which you can get from the market for $5. Uh, in my opinion, it's worth it. Um, and basically, it includes the Liberty Colors, where you can have several different themes for your Liberty ROM. So in Liberty Customizer, you can go through here and change any of the, the uh, apps here. Like if you went to text messaging, you could go back to Blur. Uh, or with the music, you can go back to Blur. So basically, if you want to add Blur back to your phone, like with Gallery, um, on the Droid X, you have to have Blur Gallery in order to hook up an HDMI cable. So on the Droid X, you probably want to go with Blur Gallery. Uh, with the Bionic, you know, we have WebTop, so uh, we don't really have to worry about that. Some people prefer the Blur camera over the AOSP camera. There's also some Blur add-ons here. Like, a lot of people cannot live without DNLA. I'm sorry, DLNA. So that's there for you. Some people... Uh, have to have, you know, the FM radio, and that's there for you as well. So that's a cool feature. Uh, you have your lock screen settings, like I said before. Uh, there's eight included here, so go to style options and lock screen style, and you'll have eight to choose from. And I'm just going to stay with the one that it came with, the uh, rotary. And you can also add custom applications to the lock screen as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have widget options here for like your music control. So uh, if you turn off the phone and plug in, uh, let's just say you're listening to music and you turn on your lock screen, you'll have your music controls from the lock screen. All you'll have to do is turn on the phone and you'll have you know your different music options from the lock screen. Another thing that I really like here is the status bar. This is more of the CM7 style uh, modifications here. Uh, you can go in and choose your clock style here. You can choose your battery status style. So if you want just percentage uh, without the little battery meter, you can change that there. Um, you can have alternative signal display if you need the DVM. And your date and clock. Uh, you can choose to have date and time, like in your pull-down notification right there. And you also see that you have, uh, if you go back a step here, you have the pull-down text editor. You can put anything there. Uh, when you change this, though, make sure to reboot the phone. You won't see it at first up here. Uh, you'll have to reboot your phone. Uh, and then another thing, if you guys notice when I pulled down, you have all these toggles up here, which is another, like, CM7 style uh, customization. And this is all without an unlocked bootloader, which is pretty neat. So we have all of that. Another thing that comes free with this is the root browser. This is the same as root explorer uh, but it's free and it comes with the ROM and so there's several different things here if you hold down to go to wallpapers you have the Liberty papers which is uh, pretty cool 
just add a little custom flair there. Um, overall, I really love this ROM. It's very speedy, very quick, very fluid. This is built on the official over-the-air uh, version 8.8.6. So if we go to settings and about phone, you'll see that it's built on 5.5.886 on the Bionic or the 4.5.605 on the Droid X. Now on my Bionic, I was able to flash this directly over uh, my Theory ROM, which was like an 8. Dot, I mean a .893 ROM, so it did downgrade me, uh, but I was able to do that without any issues. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and jump into the install tutorial, grab the ROM from the link in the description, make sure you have your phone's bootstrapper installed, open up the bootstrap, click bootstrap recovery, and reboot click success and then reboot recovery and as soon as this comes up guys we'll show you how to do it a lot of you are familiar with flashing a ROM it's very simple to do now I am on the bionic so there may be a few steps that are different for you droid Xers and I'll explain those when we get there so if you're on the Droid X, you probably want to make sure you're at Gingerbread 4.5.605. And if you're on the Bionic, you can be on any version of Gingerbread. This will downgrade you, however, to 4.5.886. Uh, you'll keep your updated kernel if you were on a build that had an updated kernel. You'll keep that because there's no way to change it. Uh, so that's one advantage there. So the first thing you want to do, I'll try to get it close to where you guys can see. You're going to want to wipe data, factory reset. On this phone, uh, you'll scroll with up and down volume and select with the power. On the Droid X, uh, you'll scroll up and down with the volume and select the camera button. And then, of course, back goes back on both phones. So you'll want to wipe data, factory reset, and then scroll to delete all user data. And when you finish that, you'll go to wipe cache and select wipe cache. And you go to yes, wipe cache. And... When that's finished, you'll go back, and the next thing you want to do is go down to Advanced, and select that, and go to Wipe Dalvik Cache, and select that. Go to Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache, select that. When you're finished, you'll go back. Now, this is where it differs uh, from the Droid X and the Bionic. You will go to Install Zip from SD card on both devices. Uh, and then you'll go to choose it from SD card if you're on the Droid X, you'll choose that. Uh, if you're on the Bionic, you'll go to choose it from internal SD card. And in either case, you'll find that in the download folder if you uh, downloaded the ROM directly to your device. So open up the download folder and you're looking for Liberty 3 2.0. Uh, for the Bionic, it's called Liberty 3 Bionic 2.0 Gold.zip. You'll select that and go to Yes, Install. Uh, Liberty 3 2.0. When that's all finished, it's going to take about five minutes to install. You'll go back, and then you'll go back again, and you'll reboot the system. So we'll go ahead and reboot the system now. I'm going to show you guys, uh, show you guys the boot animation on the way out. Guys, check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, hacks, and news for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E out of 3. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as soon as this loads up, I will say peace out. Oh, also, on the first load, make sure that you give it time. It's going to take, you know, up to 10 minutes to load. But there is your boot animation for Liberty ROM. Most of you guys are familiar with that, and that will make you excited. Uh, guys, thanks for watching.